Hey guys! Hey, hey Will. Will! Ooh, what's going on YouTube? My name is Will, or Whamslam. This is some knife-only gameplay on Dome, which is my favorite map in the world. And it's everyone's... We're playing some Drop Zone. Um, snipers love it, and I get killed by them the entire game. But today I'm going to teach you how to do some knife-only. Um, here's a demonstration of some knife-only. Here's what I mean. Sick throwing knife to the face. He's done. Alright, so let's talk about this game. Um, so here are the perks that you're gonna run. You're gonna run extreme conditioning. I swear, running around is better than be able to pick up your throwing knife. If you want, you can run scavenger, but that's up to you. Um, so yeah, uh, you want to use the USP 45 with a tactical knife. A great way to unlock that is by playing a ton of infected, and um, basically you're just gonna unlock that eventually if you play long enough. Or you could just play in a regular game and shoot a whole bunch of people. Um, for your what's it called, primary gun, you're going to want to use an MP5 or an MP7, these are the lightest guns in the game, so yeah, run those. Um, for your secondary grenades or whatever they're called, I don't even know, you're going to use stuns or flash, and obviously, uh, or a smoke grenade, but you're also going to want to obviously run your throwing knife for that. Okay, as far as killstreaks, specialist, um, make your first killstreak that you unlock scavenger, obviously I'm playing drop zone, so there are no um, strike packages in this game, but still, it's pretty awesome. Uh, the game types, you're gonna play Drop Zone or Domination. Don't play Kill Confirmed, don't play, or you could even try playing Free For All, really. Um, obviously, Free For All Gunplay would be a good solution as far as um, one in the chamber or all or nothing. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, as far as actual playing-wise, you're gonna wanna make sure that you are, um, you, when you, when you, when some, when you're running at someone, either be coming from them behind or run to their side. They will have trouble shooting you if you run from the side. You'll see me do that a lot in this game. Um, so yeah, um, I'm just throwing stuns in here to see if there's any enemy players that I can hopefully pick off, but I think my teammates get there before I do. <coughs> Sorry, I have a cough. <laughs> um, so yeah, I get stunned here. By the way, a lot of this gameplay is sped up because it's kind of just boring to watch, to be honest, when I'm sitting in the drop zone. I don't know why I didn't speed this part up. Maybe I'll do that later. Um, but yeah, so yeah, run to the side of someone to stab them. When you're playing a map where people are all in one concentrated place, kind of like drop zone or domination, run to the places where your teammates aren't. This is where they're always going to be, and then from that point, run to the objectives that they're trying to secure. And you'll always get people. Um, here, what I should have done is run around to get those guys from behind, which you'll see me do later on in the game. So yeah, that's as far as... T now, when you're actually trying to kill it, by the way, that was so sick. I got a double kill with my... Stun grenade. I don't know how I pulled that off, but yeah, that's pretty awesome. So yeah, um, a good way to learn how to use the throwing knife and to knife people is to play survival and um, just kind of run around knifing all those guys. Or what you can do is you can, <clears throat> man, this cop's really annoying. Or you can also um, just kind of play on split screen by yourself with some with um, like an extra controller and just practice trying to kill them. Uh, I think I pick up a helicopter here. I'm not really sure. I can't remember. But yeah, I end up going something like 25 and 23, which is pretty good for me as far as knife only is concerned. So yeah, um, this is kind of a fun, it's really fun to play knife only, I swear. It's a change of pace. It's it's a lot of fun. You should definitely try it out if you haven't. Um, make sure you have the right class setup though, or else it's going to be really irritating. Um, here's a couple of things from converting from guns. What you're going to make sure to do is don't get yourself into situations that you know you're not going to be able to win in. Um, always make sure you're in kind of an enclosed area, which is why smaller maps work. But don't don't stay out in the open, or else people are gonna have an easy time just getting killed with their gay CRs, as I like to call them. Um, so yeah, stay in kind of this area would be good for dome. Although in drop zone, people aren't in that area. But if you're playing domination or something, that would be a good um, solution for that. But when you're playing something like drop zone, make sure you're always running through tight corners. You'll see me doing that in this game. Um, yeah, so that's a that's a good strategy as far as that. Um, with your throwing knife, if you want to run tr quick draw as well, um, that's a good way to kind of make sure that your throwing knife gets inputted. Um, or you can throw it faster, is what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah, go for the stab in the back when possible. If you can, try and stab them from the side as well. That's another uh, solution. I think this is a super fast mode right here. Super fast mode. Uh, so another way to get <laughs> another good way to get good at this game, uh, knife only, is to watch other YouTubers. Only use me, Blade is obviously the most famous. He's a boss. Um, so yeah, sit down, sir. 
Sit down, sir, and sit down, sir. That was a pretty awesome kill feed right there. I th it should have been a triple kill, it just wasn't fast enough. But yeah, that was awesome. Um, so I think this is just about wrapping up. Thank you for watching, guys. Try out some knife only. You can play with me if you want. My game here tag is Whamslam. Um, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys on the flip side. Peace!